today. So I I want to find books of by artists and writers I have never heard of. And there needs to be an alternative, a true defining alternative. And it kind of inspired me by hearing uh, Cody Rhodes talking about AEW being the alternative, the new breed in wrestling. And what I'm getting at is there needs to be a new breed of creators and comics. No bullshit politics, no bullshit agenda, no bullshit social justice, diversity shit. There needs to be none of that. There needs to be comics that are just created for entertainment purposes. And there needs to be artwork that has passion to it. Like, I look at artists who, lately in comics, especially in Marvel, that make books that are not a, what is it, pleasurable to the eyes. For example, Squirrel Girl. I I have a soft spot for Squirrel Girl comics. And when I looked at it, now, here's the thing for people who are new listeners. Uh, this is not politically correct stuff. Uh, I don't tiptoe around saying things, so... If you're offend, if you get offended, don't know what to tell you. When I saw the Squirrel Girl comic, the hold on, I'm typing in on the computer. Uh, the new Squirrel Girl comic by I forget who did the Squirrel Girl um, by North and Henderson. When they made Squirrel Girl. I honestly saw this comic. I looked at it. And her facial reactions and stuff. I honestly thought she was with Down Syndrome. Or autism. When I saw her, I thought like... Wow, they they actually did it. They actually made a comic book for people with... Down syndrome. They made a hero for them. They made a character that could be like, this is our character. I honestly thought that. Like, I I honestly thought that when I saw her. I was like, wow, this is going to be something for, you know, for somebody who really wants a, who deserves a hero, who deserves a character to be inspired by. I honestly thought that when I saw her. But when I looked into it, it was not what I thought. Like, I read this character and I was like, this character is fucking annoying. She, her artwork, the artwork is so atrocious that I would be embarrassed to buy this comic. This is not the character I thought they made made it for it was just atrocious to look at and you know it was just really bad I don't know what they were going for with this comic I I I didn't know what they were going for I mean, the fucked up thing is she's neither part squirrel or part nor part mutant, which you're like, what is this character supposed to be? I know she could talk to squirrels, but it's like, and stuff, but it's just like, what is this character supposed to be? I have no idea. (laughs) And it's like, and, and it's like, for example, like she has a clone, which is kind of messed up. It's I gotta post a photo of it of this character. 
and the artwork. It's very atrocious. It's very disturbing to look at. Like, it's nightmare-reducing fear to look at this character. So anyway, do I think that they should, there should be, anyway, back to my commentary about alternative in comics. I look at the big two comic companies, DC, Marvel, even a Rob Liefeld who just destroyed Sean Murphy. <laughs> And a discussion about comics. I I think there needs to be a true um, company company for people to make their books a proving ground for people. I. I sat there and I had like this idea in my head. Like if I had a comic book company, hypothetically, I would call it Proving Ground Comics. Because, I mean, you look at today's big two companies, they don't hire people who are passionate, who are wanting to have happiness and who want to make comics, who want to make something for the future the big two companies DC and Marvel they hire friends of a friend of a friend of a friend to be in the company I mean you think about it like they hired Brian Michael Bendis why because Dan Didio knows him and Bendis brings in Kelly Sue DeCon and other people. They never open a door for other writers, other artists. They bring in people that have the same political ideas, the same viewpoints, the same ass kissing style that they all do. There's never been artists that you look and you're like, that right there is something that you know that's that's gonna be the next Jim Lee or the next Miller or the next Adams, O'Neill, the next Bill Finger. That's gonna be the next great thing in comics. There isn't. I mean Neil Adams encouraged Mil Frank Miller to keep going in artwork. He hi he helped Miller find work. If Neil Adams was an asshole, I know I made fun of Neil Adams for going batshit crazy on Twitter, but I I appreciate Neil Adams and I respect the hell out of him. Even though me and him don't have the same political viewpoints. But I respect him for what he did for Batman. If he was an asshole to Miller, he would have ran Frank Miller out of the comics industry. And I know there's going to be some people like, that should have happened, that would have been a great thing. But you'd be wrong. If Frank Miller got ran out of the comics industry, there would have been no Elektra, there would have been no Daredevil. Because Daredevil was at the point of being shit-canned. By Marvel. And there would have been no Dark Knight Returns. There would have been no Year One. There would have been no me having passion to write comics. There would have been none of that. I appreciate Neil Adams for what he did. This whole point I'm making is comic book companies are gatekeeping people out. They are keeping people out who want to write comics, who want to draw comics, who want to pursue something.
And there needs to be a proving ground comics. There needs to be a place where people can have the freedom to write and draw whatever the hell they want to do. There doesn't need to be censorship. And I am disappointed the way... Amen. I am disappointed with the way the comics industry is going. I mean, do you look at Image? Image, unfortunately, has become one of those things. They become, unfortunately, a gatekeeping thing. They're keeping people out who want to write and draw their own comics, who want to create new content. Like, it's hard to believe that Image Comics, which has become the house that great artists and writers have built, has become a closed-off, gated comics company. I know there's going to be a lot of people like, well, you know, they need to, like, filter through things. If not, then, you know, they're going to be financially broke. Yeah, I see the point, but how is it that they became the comic company that that went from artists and writers who were frustrated with the industry from silencing them to being the industry of like, we'll bring you in because you're friends with that guy. We'll bring you in because you know you know that person. How do they not? How do they become that? And now they're upset over content creators wanting to get into the industry of comics. They have started Kickstarters, uh, GoFundMe, uh, whatever, you know, thing they've, you know, done to get money to, you know, do the work. And, of course, they're trying to stop those people from raising funds to make their books and publish them and get them on store shelves. They've become a circle instead of a square. They circled around the wagons of keeping people out. Like, oh, you want to get into the comics company? Nope. You voted for Trump? Nope. You supported Trump? Fuck off. It's become that. Like, I'm not making a point of, like, politics. I'm just making a point of why are you keeping other people out from pursuing their dreams? Like, I looked at, for example, the DC Comics Workshop, Writers, Artists Workshop, and the idea in my head was like, you know, if they'd done it this way, of like, Harvesting talent, you know, you know, getting people in here, showing them how to do things, teach them. You can harvest. You could do a farm system, as a baseball terminology. Like, you can scout, bring them in, you know. Put them on a book. For example, like I said, like the DC Comics uh, giant 100 pages. Like, you could have done it like that. You could have, like, brought them in, teach them, get them ready, put them on the giant books, and have them write short Batman stories or Superman, Wonder Woman, Catwoman, Flash, whatever. Short stories to get their name out there and get the recognition of, like, you know, people will be like, I like this char- I like this guy. The way he wrote this character, Green Lantern. The way he wrote Green Lantern. You know, and they'd be like, this guy could go into Green Lantern books. Even though they got Grant Morrison writing it, which is a story of itself. But the point I'm making is, there needs to be new blood in an old industry that's dying. The comics industry has become... (laughs) I'm going to use this as a nerdy reference. Uh, They've become...